Um, Bobby Jane Hewison, if you expand and remove the capsule too, could you have implants again? Right, actually, that's one of my questions. That's one of my questions. I'm going to that question, Bobby Jane. Is that my second question? Yeah. Bobby Jane, I'm going to my question. Olivia, you request to be in your live video. You don't want to be in my light. That'll make you come on screen like I was yesterday. Um, so where's that? Here we go. I hope this email finds you well. I had a breast augmentation in April 2013. Following this, I feel I have always had issues with my left breast and have been experiencing on and off pain in it for a while. I've also read about the small but worrying risk of BIALCL, sorry, BIAALCL, which stands for breast implant illness, um, oh, blimey, O'Reilly, breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, BIAALCL. Uh, therefore, I've come to the decision that I really like my implants removed and a total cancellectomy. So, um, so yeah, this is a patient who's got pain on and off for a while and is uh, worried about ALCL. Um, ALCL is a very rare cancer and it is associated with a lump or a swelling in the breast. And if you are worried about it, then you should get your breasts checked out by all means. But if there is no evidence of ALCL and no evidence of a lump or a swelling, you don't need to have your implants removed. Now, having said that, if you feel like you want to have your implants removed, absolutely, it is your um, right or you know your you know, decision to have your implants removed. That's absolutely fine. No problem at all. You can have your implants removed. Now, the only thing that I would uh, have a slight question on, and a bit like this question that said, if you have an expert and remove the capsules, can you have implants again? Is whether you remove the capsules. That is a bit of a, a question as what you do with the capsule if you're going to remove the implant. Because normally, if you just remove the implants, you say, you know what, I don't want my implants anymore. You just remove the implants. That's quite an easy operation to do because you just remove the implants, you push it out. You probably don't need to do much to the capsule at all. Um, if you are worried about a problem, uh, the capsule causing a problem, in terms of BIAALCL, and the other one is breast implant illness, people often want their capsule removed. And the capsule can be actually quite difficult to remove if it's not hard. That's a paradox. Normally removing a capsule when you have a cap when you have a capsular contracture, which is a really rock hard capsule, and it's really hard, and it's you have to sort of chisel it out. Actually, when it's really soft and it's sort of integrated with the tissues, it can be really hard to do a total capsulectomy. And you don't need a total capsulectomy. There's nothing wrong with your capsule. You don't need a total capsulectomy. So I think this is a discussion we have to have because it might be quite hard to do a total capsulectomy. It might cause some problems doing a total capsulectomy in terms of the bleeding and in terms of removing some breast tissue because it's hard to differentiate capsule from the breast tissue. And so that might cause some issues. So that's a discussion we'd have to have because you don't absolutely need to have your capsules removed if you're having a total capsulectomy. But back to this question here saying, um, if you expand and remove the capsules too, can you have implants again? Absolutely, yeah, 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 you can have implants again, no problem at all. And that's an operation, a capsulectomy and implant replacement. It's perfectly fine to do an explant and replace the capsule.